NCIS has been around for almost two decades now, and it remains one of the best ways of passing your time, even after all these years. These shows are comfort shows, and while an investigation action thriller might not be a comfort show for everybody, NCIS just feels like a good time. Today, we take a look at one of the biggest mysteries on the show. First up, how Gibbs gets his boat out of the basement, plus other NCIS news. One of the longest running mysteries in television history was about Gibbs's boats and how they were removed from the basement. People wondered about it for years, including us, and there were lots of theories thrown about. It is a bittersweet moment. Now that the mystery has been solved by the fans have to contend with the loss of the main character on the show as Leroy Jethro Gibbs, played by Mark Harmon, decided to step down after 18 years. Fans of the show would know that Special Agent Gibbs isn't just a really good expert investigator. In addition to his job, Gibbs has a hobby as a carpenter, and he loves to build boats from scratch in his basement. During his 18 years on the show, Gibbs managed to build several boats. Mark Harmon's Gibbs is a quirky character that fans have just grown to adore over the years. He hates all the modern technologies, his impromptu meetings in elevators are super interesting to watch, and he prefers sleeping on his couch rather than in the master bedroom. Gibbs's boats are incredible though, as dedicated fans will remember these boats aren't just simple boats, they can be as big as sailboats too. This shows the skill level possessed by Gibbs as he works on them without using power tools, assembling all the parts of the boat by hand while the baseball games play in the background. Just for fun, we'll also throw in an interesting fact. Did you know that Mark Harmon in real life also is an accomplished woodworker? Yeah, that's crazy. However, the only issue was the mystery as to how he took these boats out of the basement. From intricate pulley systems to movable walls and even the possibility of a coal tunnel underneath, the theories were very imaginative. So what we know from watching the show, there was only one entrance to the underground basement and it was a normal sized door that simply could not fit a sailboat. Next, solving the mystery of the boats. Interestingly, fans weren't the only people vexed about the situation. Many characters on the show also asked Gibbs the timeless question and they were met with steely and intimidating stares. The one time he did answer the question, it was hardly conclusive as Gibbs said, break the bottle. Well, these sailboats were hardly model boats. The one character on the show apart from Gibbs who knew how the boats were taken out of the basement is Abby Squido, the lovable and fan favorite forensic scientist who figured it out but also decided not to spoil the mystery. It was a well-kept secret until the very end. It was finally revealed that Agent Alden Parker is looking for Gibbs and comes across the huge gaping hole in Gibbs' basement. NCIS, led by Parker, attempts to arrest Gibbs but ends up solving another mystery instead. The fourth wall is broken, literally, and we revisit it when Ducky visits Gibbs and jokes about the basement being airy. Well, to be honest, we did see it coming because the fourth wall was almost always kept out of focus during the scene shots in the basement, but it's also nice to have confirmation. The lovely exchange between Torres and Gibbs when Torres is driving him to the airport is also super heartwarming and very much needed. It confirms the mystery from Gibbs's perspective, although he didn't know it was a mystery, and Torres talks about the mystery in the same way a fan of the show would have done so. Torres explains how he knew that Gibbs would always take the boat out of the basement and not just keep them in as model boats. As expected, Gibbs's reaction showed that he was surprised that it was even a question. Yes, Gibbs was more fond of making boats rather than sailing in them, but what is the point of making a boat if he isn't going to take it out? Torres ended up elaborating that it was a burning question for everyone and that he knew about Gibbs and his boats even before he had been transferred to NCIS DC's office. Gibbs, in a very Gibbs-like fashion, exclaims, how the hell else was I supposed to get that thing out? Torres keeps his composure and tells him that there were a lot of crazy theories about movable walls, pulley systems, and even the coal tunnel underneath Gibbs's house. We're glad NCIS managed to add this priceless exchange, and we ended up knowing the truth about the way Gibbs's sailboats are removed from the basement. We finally have the closure that we needed regarding the mystery, and let's hope Gibbs's character can say the same about himself. One thing's for sure, NCIS nailed Gibbs's exit. Now the NCIS and NCIS Hawaii crossover. NCIS 
NCIS and NCIS Hawaii crossover finally happened, and it was so good. Ever since the date of the release was announced, the excitement was palpable. The episode was named Starting Over, and it began with the death of retired Navy Commander Thomas Miller. As fans would remember, he was part of the Palmer and Knight's grief counseling group, and it was earlier believed to be suicide. We don't want to ruin the investigation as it reveals a lot of interesting information. Safe to say, it wasn't suicide. Lots of other characters are introduced and the episode is a pretty fun one with two wives and a lot more. Simultaneously, there is another plot introduced as Torres is called to Hawaii. Knight also swings by Casey's lab and we're introduced to a new love interest named Piper. They make a pretty cute couple, to be honest. Meanwhile, the crossover has Torres and Tennant bantering each other after recovering the witness, and as they are old friends, their chemistry is adorable, to say the least. However, it hardly lasts long as shots explode from everywhere and the witness is killed. While this car spirals into the air, simply cannot wait for the next one. Next, Torres and Tennant. Is it more than a friendship? Earlier, it was believed that Torres will be the only character going to Hawaii, and that meant a lot of speculation emerged about a potential love interest. This could still be the case, and their on-screen chemistry was nothing short of special. The lovely banter could easily turn into something serious if the writers of the show want to take it in a different direction. The awkwardness between the two certainly indicated that they have a shared history between them, on a romantic basis. Plus, the case they're pursuing also has not been resolved, and now that it was reopened, it could well be the best way of revisiting their romantic character arc as well. Up next, Jessica Knight's return to Hawaii. When the crossover announcement was made, the cast members were just as excited as the fans. However, no one was looking forward to the crossover episode more than Katrina Law, who plays Jessica Knight, and her increased insistence helped her become a part of the episode. As we explained, the original plan was only for Torres to go to Hawaii, but the directors agreed to let Katrina Law be a part of the plot where she accompanies Torres to Hawaii. The actress has revealed that after the announcement, everyone from the crew asked if she was going to be a part of it, given her past role as Quinn Liu on Hawaii 5 Katrina Law also revealed that shooting the episode was more than just a crossover, and she completely hit it off with Jason Antoon, who plays Ernie Malik on NCIS Hawaii. She believes that her character's on-screen chemistry with Ernie Malik will be fun for the fans to see. Could Mark Harmon return as Leroy Jethro Gibbs? When NCIS renewed, fans were expectedly elated. However, the happiness was short-lived as it was announced that Mark Harmon, who plays Leroy Jethro Gibbs, will be leaving the show. The news came as a huge blow, but there might still be hope for the fans who want to see Special Agent Gibbs return to the show. In February, the executive producer of the show, Stephen D. Binder, told the media that you can never write off Leroy Jethro Gibbs. We believe the fans of the show will certainly agree with this assessment, and it gives us a bit of hope that we might see Gibbs returning for another stint. All things said and done, Gary Cole and Special Agent Alden Parker has been a fantastic addition to the cast. He's an impressive character who isn't exactly from the old school investigation mentality of Gibbs and tries to modernize the show. He's still to bend in with the rest of the squad and Binder explained that when Gibbs broke rules, Parker bends them at most. It will be interesting to see if he's pushed to the point of breaking them. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any questions about NCIS and Gibbs's boat mystery? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.